transferring the electronics from the CS3 electronics frame into the CS3 mech frame. First thing we're going to do is remove all the grips from both frames. So we can pull off the foregrip, place them on side, remove rear grips, place those to one side, do the same with the electro frame, oh, sorry, the mech frame. First thing we're going to do then is we'll place that the mech frame to one side. We're going to strip out the electronics from the electro frame. Start that by unplugging all the wires. So just very carefully, one at a time, lift up the cables and pull the plugs out of the board. Try not to bend the wires too much as you unplug them. Four different plugs to take out there. As they're all unplugged, we can then push the uh, MME package out. Easiest way to do that is turn board over, turn the frame over, just push through the pockets from the back. Once they're slid out part way, very carefully grab hold of the stack of boards and lift them out all in one go. Be very careful with that. Place that one side. Try not to touch the electronics as much as possible, try and hold the board by the edges. This is stop you getting a, uh, any static from your body into the electronics there. Once we've taken those out, we can then go ahead and remove the micro switch because we will need that. For the mech frame. Obviously we, we actually take the signal from the mic switch for your shock counter and rate of fire indicator. Okay, place that to one side, try not to lose the very small screws there. Then at this point it's probably easier just to push out solenoid retaining pin and slide solenoid assembly out. Just makes it easier to get the rest of the wires out. That up and then carefully work the solenoid wires through. And then we just have the batteries, the battery housing, and then we need the sensor board and breach board. Uh, sorry, breach sensor board and battery terminal board there. Remove the single screw. We will need that again. Place that to one side. And then we can lift up from the back and then it unhooks from a pocket in the front here. So lift it up and slide it out. And then we just need to work the wires carefully past the wire tidy here. Just slide those out to the side and then the wires can come out. There. And that's the electronics then removed from the electro frame. I'm not going to use that. Can Put the solenoid back in first because we that. Make sure we've got the gasket still down in the bottom there. We haven't lost that gasket. Drop that back in. Put the retaining pin back in. Put the grips back on. Just clip those back into place. Rear section as well. Place those to one side. Frame to one side. 
Now it's time to put the electronics package back into the mech frame and start with the uh, micro switch. What you may want to do here, make it easier, is the third leg up here that's not in use. You take some small pointy pliers, carefully just bend that up, and that will allow the micro switch to go back into place inside the frame. Carefully bend these two wires on the back of the mic switch, bend those up slightly as well to get into the new pocket there. Screw it back into place. Then we just need to make sure that the um, the screw in the back of the trigger is actuating the mic switch. This one isn't quite actuating. We will need to make some more adjustment with that. done through the front of the trigger. Adjust that down until you pull the trigger, the the adjustment screw there is actuating the trigger. Uh, the micro switch, sorry. Okay. Um, then we can go ahead and put the reach sensor, sensor and watch terminal board back into place. That's actually slightly easier if we reverse the way we took it out, which is to feed those wires back underneath the retainer first, then hook the front of the board into the front of the frame. Drop that assembly back into place. Line up the screw hole there. Put the screw back in. Don't want to over tighten that. Okay. Wires run slightly differently on the mech frame that they run down the outside here. And reposition those into that pocket there. Slide in the board stack, gently pushing that in. All the way down to the bottom. Make sure everything is lined up at the back there correctly. Now we can start plugging things back in. So we have the um, mic switch cable there. Goes to the middle one. Three down here. Power cable at the top and the brick sensor on the bottom. Obviously there's no solenoid here to plug back in in the mech frame. And we can tidy those wires up a little bit. Make 
sure they're all sat down nicely there. Can go ahead and reattach the grips. Careful not to pinch anything underneath the grips there. Obviously, these are just a little bit inside there. Push those down into that trough. Clip those all into place. Put the batteries in. Obviously, make sure they're orientated the right way. A little diagram on there. And we can just double check everything's working. Power it up. And then, what you want to do if you want to get the full uh, benefits of the electronics inside the mech frame. Um, it's advisable to go onto ePortal and download the latest version of firmware so that it has mech mode enabled. Um, if, even if you don't install the mech mode, obviously things like the game timer are going to function exactly the same as they do when using this uh, in an electronic um, format. Um, but in this case, we're just going to go in and we're just going to go into presets and we'll just cycle down and load in mech mode, exit that, and then once in mech mode, obviously a game timer, we have shot counter, and we have the two different rate of fire indicators there. So that is the installation of the electronics into a CS3 mech frame.